Hey guys, this is Shortstack6 here with another video. I told you guys that I wouldn't be making videos for a while, but uh, I'm home alone, I'm bored, I have nothing to do today. So I figured I, bet I might as well get my some of my skills up so I can do Nomads and get my Soul Wars kit that I've been wanting for a while. But all that is beside the point. I figured, you know what, I might as well just uh, do some random shit, record myself talking, and I can call it a new video. So, what I've decided to do is sort of make like, kind of like another rant video, but this one's not where like I'm just pissed off and yelling like, what the fuck are you doing? This is like, I'm actually going to have like, evidence this time. And give like an honest opinion. So... My opinion, what, what is this video going to be about? Well, my opinion on changes to RuneScape regarding anything involving PvP. And let's, let's start with the most famous RuneScape update, the removal of the original Wilderness. Now, the Wilderness was a great place to PK. It really was. Because there was there was no running, there was no one iteming, there was there was no inflation from it because if they you wouldn't be able to get a five mil drop from someone risking two hundred K, you you just wouldn't be able to do that. You could lure I've, I've always wanted to try that, but I never got the chance to. I love Pepsi. And yeah, it was great. It was it was the soul of this game. If you had never gone to the old wilderness, you had wasted your time playing this game. Unless you were a skiller. Skillers are stupid. Anyways, uh... Yeah, obviously... Obviously the removal of the old wilderness was a bad update in the mind of... 99.99999% of all the RuneScape community. But uh, I have to defend Jagex at this point because... According to what they were saying, uh, the credit card issues were getting really bad because of, you know, the no trade limit and the wilderness and, you know, like you could kill somebody risking and risking a whip and you'd get their whip no matter what. Yeah, it was, it was bad, real world trading, but you know what? Here's my, here's my opinion. Who the fuck cares? If nerds want to buy pixels, let them do it. Who the hell cares? You know, just fucking let it go. Well, you know, they're a big corporation. They can't have that and make their image look bad and other shit like that that I can't even think of because I'm not, this is like an unexpected video that I'm making. Uh, where am I at? Where am I at here? Oh, and they also removed Bounty Hunter. That sort of, ah, oh, fuck, fuck, no, no. Damn it, I didn't want to do that. They also removed Bounty Hunter, which sucks because... The week that they removed Bounty Hunter, I was planning to try Bounty Hunter for real. And I'm just thinking, you bastards. I wanted to try it so bad and you fucked me over again. But, well, at least they managed to do something useful with it. Make, like, put Slayer monsters in there from, like, like lesser and greater demons, and cows, hellhounds. Skeletons, the skeletons are stupid, but the rest is okay. It's really convenient now, but I really wish they kept Bounty Hunter. I certainly don't like that update. Uh, and the response to removing pretty much all types of PvP methods, PvP like forms, was to add PvP worlds and bounty worlds which was a crappy idea because the drop sucked it was really easy to run uh... what else well actually those are the really only two reasons but still it's still stupid I still didn't like it and of course they had to make it worse by adding or I should say, taking away the uh, 
taking away the use of protect item in PvP worlds and most bounty worlds. Which led to two things. Three things. Three things, I guess you could say. Number one, PvP worlds sucking. Not just, not bounty world plus one worlds, but the regular PvP worlds. They suck now. It's full of just no armors, pures, uh, rushers, and, oh, uh, shit. And, I, I, I think I said no armors already. I fucked up already. Anyways, it sucks now. Oh, and no risk. You can't risk now. It's, ugh. I have the hiccups. Uh, what else? Besides PvP worlds not being fun. Oh. One itemers in Bounty World plus, in Bounty plus one worlds. The, the two or three worlds where you can protect one item automatically in certain, those Bounty World plus one worlds are like worlds 18, 65, 32. I think that's it. For Bounty World plus one. And... Uh, one itemers. Now that you can automatically protect one item no matter what, even if your prayer runs out, meaning you wouldn't be able to use the protect item prayer, meaning you'd lose your items because you're sculled, th there's no threat of that now. You could just run around with one item and just constantly attack people. And it's, it's fucking stupid because now the real PKers who are still left, like me and... You know, anybody else you can think of, like Spark Mac and Spartacus, XX Own, Lord Mac Up, the list goes on and on. Now we have to deal with that bullshit of one itemers. Also, uh, the last thing that's messed up with the new Bounty World slash PvP Worlds is the drop system. And going along with that is the EP slash DP system. Now, if you don't know what EP and DP is, EP is earned potential. Like, there'd be a little thing in the corner that says EP and a certain percent. And the higher the percent, the more likely you are to get better drops. Even though, you know, I've gotten, like, whips. People risking whips and ancient, and ancient statuettes, Vesta swords on, like, 30% and under earned potential. So... It doesn't always have the effect that it's supposed to, but either way, it's still dumb. You shouldn't have to wait an hour for your EP to go up to 50% to go PKing. Because let's be honest, a fight lasts five minutes. If you win most of your fights, that means it took you an hour and five minutes just to make like one mil from PKing after sitting there for an hour. PvP was not meant to be like that. It was never meant to be like that. So... Uh, along with that, with the EP system and artifact drops, has l it's led to inflation. Because now, if you kill somebody risking 400k, like the usual, like, you know, Nezzy, random amulet, like a glory, rune, gloves, the food and shit like that. Risking 400 to 600k, which is the normal risk. And you get an ancient stat, which is 5 mil. You just brought 4.4 mil into the game. That wasn't previously there. And with all the PKing that goes on every day, that's a lot of money brought into the game every day. It's a wonder that, uh, that uh, items, especially like God Swords, Claws, and Whips that you'd use in Bounty Hunter, which are the popular weapons, it's, it's amazing that with all the inflation that whips aren't 10 mil and god sword and like a bando's god sword isn't 50 mil and an armado god sword isn't like 200 mil with all the fucking inflation especially now although in about a year that might be the case with the fucking climbing boots update which is total bullshit 75k each that brought supposedly over 500 bill into the game but uh i have Five seconds left, so I'm going to end the video here. Thanks, guys. Subscribe. Bye.